San Francisco, where cable cars still scramble up the hills. Howdy, all. Welcome to Adventures of Kendall. Today's adventure will take us to San Francisco to check out their famous cable car system. I can't wait to take you, so let's get going and check out the San Francisco cable cars. When you think of San Francisco, do you think of the cable cars? They're considered to be an icon of the city of San Francisco, along with Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island, and Fisherman's Wharf. And it is not only the last manually operating cable car system in the world, but also one of two operating street railway systems listed on the National Register of Historical Places, along with the St. Charles Streetcar Line in New Orleans. But what is the story of the San Francisco cable car system? Well, let's get on our cable car and start exploring the history of this wonderful system. Today's cable car system was the idea of Andrew Smith Halliday in 1869 after witnessing an accident involving a horse-drawn streetcar. Halliday had the idea of a cable-drawn streetcar system. He secured financing and on August of 1873, the Clay Street Railroad had its inaugural run. The next line to open was the Sutter Street Railway in 1877 then the California Street Cable Railroad in 1878, followed by the Gary Street Park and Ocean Railway. In all, there were 23 lines established between 1873 and 1890. Originally, the cable cars were powered by stationary steam engines. By 1926, most of the cable cars were converted to run by electric motors. The earliest electric streetcar system was operated as the San Francisco and San Mateo Railway in 1892. Despite this, the remaining cable car lines will continue to operate within the city of San Francisco, becoming a fixture of the city. By the 1950s, there was a threat that the city would replace the cable car lines with buses. However, a movement led by Friedel Klussmann, who would later become known as the Cable Car Lady, and the voting of Proposition J would save the remaining cable car lines that you see today. Now that we've learned the history of the cable car system, let's explore how it works. What sets the cable car system apart from the nearby Market Street Railway is precisely the fact that they travel along the city streets without being powered by a motor. Instead, there is an iron cable that runs at a constant speed under the road surface to which the cable car hooks up on the surface. A grip is a device mounted in the car which is used to grip the cable under the street surface. In other words, the operator pulls a lever which, like a pair of pliers, grabs the cable through an opening in the road surface and the amount of pressure that is applied determines the speed. To stop the cable car, rather than tighten the grip on the cable, it is loosened and the operator hits the brakes. The cable gets its power from a stationary motor being driven in a powerhouse. The earliest motors were steam powered. Electric motors became the standard to power the cables. Today's cable cars receive their power from the barn where the motors are mounted below ground level. The current cable car system consists of three routes. The Powell Mason, Powell and Hyde, and California Street Lines. There are two types of cable cars on the system. The California cars and the Powell cars. The California Street cable cars are 12 large maroon colored cars with open seating on each end with a closed seating area in the middle. These cars can be operated from either end. This line is the oldest in the system and was first opened in 1878 by Leland Stanford. Powell Street cars are smaller, operate from only from one end and require a turntable to turn around at each end of the line. There are 28 Powell Street cars on the system. Here are some fun facts about the cable car system. 
The San Francisco cable cars are the only moving national monument, and the steepest grade for the system is on high strength at 21%. If you would like to learn more about the cable car system, there's one fun place to go. I'm at the Cable Car Museum here in San Francisco, California. Let's go check it out. The museum is located at Washington and Mason Streets in the historic car barn. This museum was opened in 1974. Here, visitors can learn more about the story of the San Francisco cable car. This includes seeing original cable cars from both the Clay Street Railway and the Sutter Street Railway. There are viewing areas to watch the motors driving the cables. You can also see the cable pulleys and sheaves transfer power to the cables to allow the cars to operate on the streets. Now over here is the gift shop, where you can get great cable car gifts and merchandise while having a splendid time within the Cable Car Museum. And that's our adventure on the San Francisco Cable Car System. I hope you had a fun time, but now let's head back to the studio. I hope you had a fun time learning about the San Francisco Cable Cars. It was a blast, and I can't wait to take you on our next adventure. We're going to explore Route 66 in Southern California especially around Santa Monica. But until then, if you have a location for us to go on, comment or email down below. We would love to see suggestions. And also subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We would love to see your faces. Now that's all the time we have here on Adventures of Kendall. See you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world.